Yeah, welcome to a new Java EE tutorial. Today's lesson is about using resources in JSF. A resource can be an image, a style sheet or a JavaScript, just to mention some examples, to make those files sorted and accessible without pointing to their direct location, you can use the JSF resource management. To use this, we will create a folder called resources in our web content folder. Y in this folder you can already store your files, so I will put an image here. Now I can say that this is an image, I will show you how to uh, use this with other uh, yeah with other files as an output uh, as a script or a style sheet as well so first we will use graphic image oh. um, this image we point to the file with the name attribute and the name is just the file name so we just write ggtube.jpg and that's all we need, so we can go here, refresh the page, and the uh, GGP logo is on here. So all this, what you write here, will be searched in the resources folder. And if you now check the source code, and you see how the resource management translates your uh, image. So when you say you want the GGP JPG, then it translates you to uh, the context of your application and generates this HTML. So now we can do some more things if you want to sort so those uh, files. For example, we have an image. You say all images should be in a folder called IMG. You can put do this. So now you could do another folder for JavaScripts for uh, style sheets now you can write emg dot gtube and the file is created under the uh, folder img so you can sort this in this way uh, another thing you can do is write uh, use libraries library for example we use a default library where we put our folder in so the structure is default image then the image and now we would write a second attribute here called a library this would be default and now you would check in the folder default image dot slash youtube and as you see it's still here just to demonstrate you I will rename this to for example, theme one. So you could have theme theme one, two, three, four, whatsoever different themes, and just change them by switching this library. It works. So you can easily uh, make this library uh, dynamic and change your themes with it. So this is the basic usage of the JSF resource management. Now I will show you how. You could use this with other files, for example, as a style sheet. It's basically the same. You just write output style sheet, use this component, and here you have the same. So if you would have a folder called CSS, then then the file, and here you can add the library as well, where we can put this. So I don't have style sheet here, so it would work. And the last thing is an output script where, yeah, again, it's the same. So if we would have a, J a JavaScript here, you could just put this in here and also add the library tag. And JSF would, oh, there's an error, would take this resource from the resource folder from the theme one and the uh, given subfolder. Another very interesting thing is the versioning. You can say you 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 say this is theme one in version one or in version two where you will 
have a folder with this regular expression which needs at least one number if you have subversions like 1011 then you would put this with a slash and then I put it in so I have my GTube file here and now I could create a second version for this and I would create again a folder called mg where I put another different YouTube logo and I will delete those two lines because they are not needed anymore now we switch back here we refresh this and it took the version 2 which yeah it always took the uh, newest version if I would put here uh, version 3 he would use this version so you can easily add a new version and without losing the old files yeah this is basically how the resource management of JSF works if you have any questions write a comment and I hope I see you soon